Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to do question number 17 of JE 2017. So you can see the question is if 2 plus sin x into dy by dx plus y plus 1 into cos x is equal to 0 and y of 0 is equal to 1, then we need to find that what is the value of y of pi by 2. So here we can see that this particular given differential equation is differential equation of first order and we know that to convert this differential equation of first order in its standard form we will have to make the coefficient of this dy by dx as 1. So let's make this coefficient of this dy by dx as 1 by taking this 2 plus sin x as common. So when we will take this 2 plus sin x common in the bracket we will be left with dy by dx plus y cos x upon 2 plus sin x plus cos x upon 2 plus sin x is equal to 0. Now we can send this 2 plus sin x in the right hand side and then we will get our required differential equation as dy by dx plus y into cos x upon 2 plus sin x and this will be equal to minus cos x upon 2 plus sin x. Now we have got the differential equation in its standard form and we can see that the value of p is equal to cos x upon 2 plus sin x and the value of q is equal to minus cos x upon 2 plus sin x. So now we have to find the integrating factor and we know that the integrating factor is given as e raised to the power integration p dot dx. Now to find the integration of p dot dx let's find it out. So p dot dx will be equal to integration of cos x upon 2 plus sin x dot dx. Here we can see that if we substitute the denominator as t then we'll get its differential that is its uh, derivative in the numerator. So let's put 2 plus sin x is equal to t. So this means cos x dot dx is equal to dt and thus integration p dot dx is now equal to or we can say integration of cos x upon 2 plus sin x dot dx is equal to integration of dt over t which is equal to log of mod t plus c. Now if we substitute the value of t from here then well we are going to get integration p dot dx is equal to log to the base e of well 2 plus sin x plus c. Now let's find the solution of this particular differential equation and we know that the solution is written in the format as y into integrating factor which is equal to integration of q dot integrating factor dot dx. Now before moving on to this integrating factor, well, let's find, before moving on to the solution, let's find the exact value of this integrating factor. So this integrating factor will now be equal to e raised to the power log to the base e of 2 plus sin x. So this will give us final value as 2 plus sin x. So basically our integrating factor which we are looking for is 2 plus sin x itself. So let's substitute the value of integrating factor in here and we'll get it as y into 2 plus sin x which is equal to well integration of now q. q is given to us as minus cos x upon 2 plus sin x and in the multiplication we have the integrating factor. Now the value of this integrating factor we've already seen. Well this integrating factor is actually 2 plus sin x itself. So it will be 2 plus sin x dot dx of course and 2 plus sin x and 2 plus sin x will cancel each other and we'll be left with y into 2 plus sin x is equal to integration of minus cos x dot dx. Now we know that integration of cos x dot dx is sin x plus c. So this will become integration of well minus cos x dot dx. So minus sin x plus c. We can say that this y is now equal to minus sin x upon 2 plus sin x plus c 
upon 2 plus sin x. So now we've been already given that y of 0 is equal to 1. So this means if we substitute the value of x as 0, then we are going to get the result of y as 1. And that we will find the value of our constant c. So let's put y as 0 and we know that y of 0 is equal to 1. So this will become 1, which will be equal to now minus sine 0 will become 0. And since it will be 0, so there is no mean or there is no, well, there, it won't matter that if we substitute the value of denominator or not and it will become plus c upon 2 plus sin x. Now, sin x, we've already seen that it will become 0. So it will become c by 2. So this gives that the value of our constant is equal to 2. And now, if we substitute the value of c as 2 in here, well, we are going to get our final differential equation as y is equal to minus sin x upon 2 plus sin x plus 2 upon 2 plus sin x. Now, all we have to do to find the value of y of pi by 2 is substitute pi by 2 in place of x. And now, if we do that, it will become y is equal to minus sin pi by 2 upon 2 plus sin pi by 2 plus 2 upon 2 plus sin pi by 2. We all know that the value of sin pi by 2 is equal to 1. So this will become y is equal to minus now sin pi by 2 as we suggested it's 1 minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 that is 3 plus 2 upon 3 which will give us the final answer as minus 1 plus 2 by 3 which is equal to 1 by 3. So this means that the y of pi by 2 is equal to 1 by 3 and this is the solution of our question.